We're gonna see the Eiffel Tower tonight, hopefully. So, brought one of my cute outfits, backless. So, we'll see. Outfit check in Paris. I actually have a cuter clutch in here, but I'm bringing a tote bag because I know I probably won't want to carry it the whole time. Oops. And there goes my keys. <laughs> macaroons for a wedding. So cute. Every dressed up girl. There is an underdressed husband. And actually the place we just ate at gave us some free macaroons. So nice. There's like a lot of them in here too. So nice of them. my favorite. So since this was the last part of our honeymoon, we obviously had to go to Paris, one of my favorite cities in the world. We signed up for this tour and it was mostly a walking tour. It was so fun. We got to learn so much history and see really, really cool places, especially of all the artists and the writers of Paris. It was truly amazing. It was a little bit tiring because it was literally all day. In the morning, I really needed a coffee, so I kind of got lost and like hung back while the group carried on. It was actually pretty cute. Reggie was like sending me texts with like hints of like wall art and things on the side so I could catch up to the group. But anyways, it ended up being fine. It was an amazing tour and it was a really cool way to see Paris on foot, which is what we really wanted to do. So of course we have this up here on our tour. We were really lucky to have front of the line passes and be able to get in with our tour guide. It was really nice to be able to skip the line and not have to wait too long. 
It wasn't my first time being here, but I hadn't been here in a couple years, and it's always so nice to be here and just take in all of the art, all of the history, and all of the beauty. It's really one of those places. You know those questions when they're like, what's your Roman Empire? I feel like this is one of those things when you're there, you're just thinking about how on earth did they create all of this and all of this by hand and I feel like we don't even know how to do it anymore so it's truly so amazing I can honestly spend all day here and we pretty much did <laughs> but um no we actually had to go to other stops on our tour but it's so nice to go and like just see everything I highly recommend getting a tour guide if you can because it's nice to just have someone give you background just like looking at photos and looking at art not knowing where it's coming from so um I'll link below our tour guide um this was a tour I think it was Paris in a whole day so it included this but had all of these other um attractions and things to do as well and I think it just makes things easy especially when you're trying to see so much in a small amount of time I can't lie, Reggie was really unimpressed by the Mona Lisa. I do think it is a little bit overhyped and there are some other pieces in that room that are like much more interesting. Although I do understand why it's so popular because it was stolen. So of course that's gonna make any painting a little bit more notorious, you know? But overall, I think the sculptures, it was really hard to go to the paintings from that because they just look so crazy. And for me personally, I think the paintings were just as beautiful, but I think just seeing one medium versus the other, it's like obviously, at least for my husband, one of them kind of stood out a little bit more. This was probably my favorite part of the tour, besides going to the bookshop where I got a really, really cute book tote. <laughs> So cute. And it's like really good material. I can't lie you guys, one of my favorite things about Paris is that they have restaurants where you can sit on the same side and people watch. It's honestly the best. I don't know why all restaurants don't do that. Also, this is a bookstore that I got my book tote from. It's so cute. Honestly, I wish I could go back and get more. One of my favorite things to collect when I'm traveling is bookshop totes exclusively because they're so cute. They don't have an obnoxious design and they're always really useful when you're traveling because I feel like you can never have too many bags. Okay, the way I'm actually dying watching these clips, I was obsessed with that book tote. I literally put it in every clip. I could not get enough of it once I had it. So you guys are about to be really sick of me wearing this book tote literally in every single clip of this video. I'm so sorry. Okay, and then the last part we have to talk about for this video is that my husband took me luxury shopping as a wedding gift. I honestly did not see this coming. We had not talked about it and my husband is not really into luxury or branding items or shopping or spending money. If you guys saw us on our Netflix show, How to Get Rich, you know this. But he kept kind of saying like, oh, let's go shopping, let's go to the luxury shops and I was like, I don't want to go if I'm just going to window shop, so I kind of, I mean, I would still like to window shop, you know, but sometimes it can be kind of sad. And then he kind of hinted that he might buy me something, and I was like, oh, okay, so <laughs> I was not expecting it at all. It was obviously like a really nice surprise, and then I was confused because I really hadn't been thinking about what kind of purse I would want. I feel like normally you have a bag in mind, and it's just, it was so out of reach in my mind that I didn't even think of anything. So we had to go to a couple places, and then I settled on Celine. I feel like Celine is just that really classy brand. It's that girl 
it's also great for my age like i'm a little bit older i feel like it's timeless and when i was looking at these bags this one really stood out for me it's so cute it has a little lock on it and it says paris on it along with the celine logo of course i feel like it isn't too showy i don't really like those bags that have like all over print so funny you can see my husband's stressing over the price but you know it was his idea um just kidding no he obviously was like we aligned on a budget it didn't go too crazy but it was so nice to have this luxury experience especially on our honeymoon after our dream wedding like i said this was truly every girl's dream every wife's dream and it was such a nice present i kind of consider this as a pre-push present as well <laughs> because i got pregnant obviously on my honeymoon but it was so perfect i love it i still wear it to this day i'm obviously posting this video like a year later like so late but i literally wear this purse all the time it's like my go-to designer purse i feel like it's gonna last me years and years and years and honestly my whole life so i'm really glad i chose it it's such a good timeless piece and it's pretty big too so it actually fits a lot i feel like a lot of small designer purses like you can only fit like one credit card in your phone so this was actually like a perfect pick i also felt like blair waldorf walking down with my celine bag but this was just such an amazing experience and i highly recommend obviously if you have the budget but <laughs> it was just nice to feel spoiled and just be treated to something so amazing like i do have a couple of other designer purses but it's definitely been a while and obviously it's not something that happens all the time I truly could not stop staring at it even now i still am so careful to wear it because i don't want it to get ruined but it's great this was like i think what they consider a medium sized bag or maybe like a small size obviously it comes with a couple pockets on the inside the card of authenticity of course and then it has a shoulder strap which is really nice i actually use that quite a bit when i wear it i love that it has so many pockets and it, you can just tell it's like really amazing quality honestly truly unforgettable experience that i'll remember for the rest of my life so thankful for my husband have to give him such a shout out last thing we actually were able to use the sky lounge which was really nice we had never really used it before i think we were able to use the lounge actually on the way there but i'm not sure if i took a video of it it's nice that you can just have all the food and all the drinks that you want we also were able to upgrade a first class this was my first time in first class and I'm not gonna lie, I still have these blankets to this day. <laughs> they were such good quality blankets and now I use them as like travel blankets or if we go to the movies and they have Saks Fifth Avenue on them, so. let me just tell you going first class it's honestly gonna ruin flying coach for you um but if you're like me you'll have to fly coach because you can't afford first class ever again 
but it was such an amazing experience they obviously give you drinks you get like a full i don't know three or four course meal you have a blanket you're able to lay completely flat it was honestly the perfect way to close out our honeymoon i feel like a lot of people do it on the way there but i'm so so glad we did it on the way back because it was so nice to just relax and actually sleep on the plane especially having been in europe for almost three weeks at this point so thank you guys for being on this journey with me from the beginning i hope you guys enjoyed this finally concludes the end of my honeymoon vlog so love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video